Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine and I live in northern Canada where it's cold but today it's rather balmy minus three. We got a foot of snow last night but it's turned to rain so it's made it a little crusty and hard to shovel. Fortunately I don't have to shovel. I have someone do that for me. This is your reading or weekly reading. Please, please, if you could click the like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave me a comment so that I can get to know you better because I would really love to get to know you better. And on that note, let's start with your reading. I've already laid out the first set of cards and I'm going to be reading from about four different decks. The first cards that came up for you was the world, the lovers, and the king of swords. Now, normally this would tell us that you have completed a cycle with the world and you've earned that right to pick any direction you want to go into. Um, the lovers don't necessarily have to mean, you know, a couple, but it could be um, a meeting of the minds. Uh, because the King of Swords in here, uh, he's he's very intelligent. He's his authority won't be questioned, so that might be a little bit annoying for you, Cancer. But then again, Cancers like it when their partner takes the reins and and gets things done. This person gets things done, and uh, he's intelligent. Uh, a strong card, obviously. <clears throat> and and like I said, normally. But I get the feeling. With the world. And the king of swords. This would be either a current love or a, someone from your past that has entered back into the picture. Someone you know, someone who knows your weaknesses as well and how to get through to you. Um, it's not a bad guy, <clears throat> just a bit like on the stubborn side. Because you had another king show up here, the king of wands. So if this is two people <clears throat> vying for your attention, well, good for you. Could be the same person. So where this man is, a, I want to say pragmatic. That's the feeling I get from that is that he's pragmatic, but he's also very compassionate, loving, fair, um, if approached just the right way, you can get whatever you want, whatever you want from him, her, it, them. Recently, or currently, we have the Five of Cups. Looks like the Hermit card, doesn't it? This person is rather bundled up in a scarf and cloak there and probably can't move that well. But he's focused on the three empty cups with the two behind him. Not He doesn't even see the two behind him. Those two behind him are probably the King of Wands and the King of Swords. Gosh, maybe you've got three people. You know, you're looking at one and uh, these two are in the wings like, look at me, look at me. The Two of Wands is a decision to be made. It doesn't matter what decision you make. Both of them are viable, solid. You just have to choose between one or the other. Either way, it will be successful. It won't be a bad choice. But you do have to make a choice while you have the opportunity to make it before that opportunity is missed. The Hierophant. 
and the four of wands. Somebody get married? You? Uh, I, with the four of wands, I would, I would not say that necessarily that's with you um, getting married to someone. It could be that you're going to a wedding, someone else's wedding. It could be all about family. It could be all about building the foundations. But with this card, there's a commitment being made or a commitment being presented. This is where I want us to go. And it's up to you to decide whether you want to go in that direction or not. I'm going to look up this one because I've never seen this card before. And it's from a, a different deck. It's the fountain card. Let me show it to you. It's beautiful. It, to me, it looks like what well, has the infinity sign. But it's like, to me, it looks like it's joining heaven and earth with something beautiful forming. That's coming out of it. Enlightenment. Something's a download. A, yeah, the universe is downloading something into you. This says our interconnected, our interconnectedness on this planet has never been more clear. Technology has given us near limitless access access to knowledge, more than we could possibly comprehend. Well, downloads. More than we could possibly comprehend. It has illuminated the interweaving and singular consciousness. The sages, witches, and shamans have embodied for thousands of years. The fountain card is this eternal context beyond human experience in which anything and everything can happen. Otero could not have anticipated this burgeoning connection and awareness. It now begs for its expression. The fountain card represents this expression like the fool. It exists outside of the 21 cards of the major arcana. Beyond the cycles of the earthly world, it reflects both solitary experience and timeless unity. It is the ether in which we navigate our imperfect lives and the substance of life itself. Well, it falls in line to what I was the feelings I was getting off of this card, the infinity sign in this enlightenment uh, that's coming to you. A download of information, maybe when you're sleeping, it'll come to you maybe in a dream or something will happen during the day and you'll have an aha moment so that you can grab this opportunity with the two of wands, make the decision and and go with it. It'll be a good decision, whatever way it is. This is like the universe stepping in and saying, go this way. Instinct will tell you which way you have to go. And overall energy was the queen of coins. So this is, uh, this is you, whether you're male or female, you're generous. You like to spend money on, on other people. Uh, people come to you for advice. You're kind, even motherly or fatherly. Your children mean everything to you. That's the overall energy of this, these cards that came up. So again, this decision that you're making it's all good. I'm going to. Uh, 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 I'm going to call in your tribe first. Calling in the tribe for Cancer. What do your spirit guides want to tell you? Your tribe, your ancestors. Let's try that one more time. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. Here we go. This decision you're making, this fountain, this Adian cross, Andean cross, is about portals and doorways and the spirit world calling you to walk through it. Not necessarily about this decision that you have to make. There's something that you have to do spiritually before you, you do anything. And it has to do with walking through this portal. The portal is open for a short time. And it's like the two of wands. You have an opportunity that is only for a short time. But, you know, go have a nap. <laughs> Wait for a dream to come. The spirit world is going to do something here. Download something into you. A thought, a dream, a feeling, instinct, intuition. And they're going to pull you through this portal they're calling you through the portal and you will you will go through the portal not only will you go through this portal you'll flow through it just like nothing because you're a water sign it's just going to be like a nice straight path from the river to the ocean to your kingdom two two and one, ancient ones, these are your ancestors. So where this is universal knowledge, wisdom, you're getting this from your ancestors that were before you, that are watching over you. They're helping you to get through that portal, showing you the way. And no problem. You're just going to swim right through it. You're not even going to walk. You're just going to like jump and swim. Pull up. Oh, looks like I'm going to be going over time. <laughs> this is a very interesting read. What have we got for cancer? All right. Watch your ego. Um, you need to put it away because right now you're uh, something's trying to come through. And if your ego is in the way, it's going to slow you down, literally just slow you down. But that's okay, because we have the Four of Winter, which is the same as the Four of Swords, which means you're going to rest. You need to rest. Um, take care of your health. And the Hermit. So you're not only going to, you know, let me give you a scenario. Going into your room and closing the door, don't bother me. I'm going to take a nap. And it may last for a couple of days. Just don't bother me. And the hermit is introspection. What's beautiful about the hermit is that it's shedding a light on what you need to do, what you need to know. Could be that you're dealing with a Virgo too. But I think this has more to do with that introspection going within. Romance cards. I'm going to throw out two. <laughs> oh, look at this. This could be the one and deception. So, yeah, go in your room, close the door, have a nap, dream, 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 calling your tribe, ask for help. Let the universe bring to you what you need. Because you've already met the one that you're going to be spending a long time with. And this deception, someone is wearing a false mask. I wonder who that could be. Cancer, this has been your weekly reading. Thank you so much for joining me. 
please click the like button and subscribe and ring the bell. Give me a comment so I can get to know you better because I really would like to get to know you better. Thank you for joining me. I'll talk to you again really soon and God bless you.